Hello, this is Estelle Trengove, and this is my clip on superposition for LN1000 and LN2008 electric circuits at the University of the Witwatersrand. Superposition is a circuit analysis technique that can be applied to linear circuits. And for linear circuits, it means that additivity applies. Additivity means that if we have some black box, which is a system, and we've got an input x1, and it goes through the system and it gives us an, in, an output y1, and we have an input x2 that goes into the same system and it gives us an output y2, then additivity means that if we put x1 plus x2 into the system, then we are going to get out y1 plus y2. That is additivity. And additivity means that in a linear circuit, we can consider the effect of one source at a time, excluding all the other sources. And if we work out the effect of each source individually, then uh, in the end, we can find the overall effect of all the sources by just adding them together. If we want to consider the effect of a single source, then we need to remove all the other sources. So before I apply superposition to an example, I'm just going to show you quickly how we remove sources. Let's consider a simple circuit with a resistor, which we'll just call R and a voltage source, which we'll call Vs, and a current source, which we'll call Is. So remember that to remove a voltage source, we want the voltage over here to be zero volts instead of Vs, because we're going to work out what the effect on that resistor is of just the current source, Is. So how do we make the voltage here zero? Well, we do it by simply replacing the voltage source with a short circuit. So we'll still have our resistor, R, and we still have our current source, Is, and then instead of having the voltage source here, we replace the voltage source with a short circuit, because the voltage of a short circuit we're going to apply superposition to the example that we used for mesh analysis. So let's say we want to find I4 using superposition. So what we're going to do first is we're going to remove this current source. And so we want to remove... the 2 amp source and remember that we remove a current source by open circuiting it so we're going to open circuit the 2 amp source so let's draw the circuit redraw the circuit with the 2 amp source open circuited. So we still have the 5 volt source and we have the 3 ohm resistor, the 1 ohm resistor, the 2 ohm resistor, 
Then we've got the 5 ohms here. <clears throat> and we've got the 4 ohm resistor here. And because we're open circuiting the current source, our circuit looks like this. Let's call the current I4 that is caused by the voltage source only, let's call that I4 dashed. To find the, to to find the current I4, we first need to find the total current in the circuit. So we can simplify the circuit by um, combining these two resistors, which are in series, so those two together are 9 ohms, and that 9 ohms is in parallel with this 2 ohm resistor. So we can simplify the circuit to look like this. We still have the 5 volt, and then we've got 3 ohms, and 1 ohm, and over here we have 2 ohms in parallel with 9 ohms, and that gives us 1.64 ohms. That allows us to work out the total current, let's call it I total dashed, and I total dashed is equal to 5 volts divided by 3 ohms plus 1.64 ohms plus 1 ohm and that gives us 0 0.887 amps. Now we can use the current divider law, so by current divider, We can work out I4 dashed, and that's equal to 0 0.887 amps times 2 ohms divided by 2 ohms plus 9 ohms, and that gives us 0 0.161 amps. Okay, let's just write that down here at the top of the page. So I4 dashed is equal to 0 0.161 amps, and that's due to the voltage source only acting. Now we're going to remove the voltage source. And then we're going to see what I4 is uh, with just the current source acting. So remember that to remove the voltage source, we've got to short circuit it. So we're going to short circuit the 5 volt source. And then we can work out what the effect of only the 2 amp source is. So if we redraw the circuit, Replacing the 5 volt source with a short circuit, it looks like this. We've still got the 3 ohms and the 2 ohms and the 1 ohm. And over here, we're replacing the voltage source with a short circuit. And then we've got the 5 ohms over here and the 4 ohm resistor and we have our current source the 2 amp source so now you can see that 
<coughs> over here, we've got the 3 ohm and the 1 ohm in series, and those two together are in parallel with the 2 ohm resistor. So we can redraw our circuit. We can simplify it, and the simplified circuit looks like this. Here we've got 2 ohms in parallel with 4 ohms, which gives us 1.33 ohms. And that is in series with the 5 ohm resistor. We've still got the 4 ohm resistor and the 2 amp current source. And remember, this is what we're trying to find. So we're trying to find I4 double dashed. Let's call it I4 double dashed. And now we can use the current divider rule. So by current divider, we know that I4 double dashed is equal to 2 amps times 5 plus 1.33 ohms, all divided by 5 plus 1.33 plus 4 ohms. And that gives us 1.23 amps. And then the final step, step of superposition is to say that I4 is equal to I4 dashed, remember which was the contribution made by the 5 volt source plus I4 double dashed, which is the contribution made by the 2 amp source. So I4 in total is equal to 0 0.161 amps plus 1.23 amps and I'm rounding it to two decimal points so that gives me 1.39 amps. And that's the end of this clip.